I wanted to bring up something that I know is very important to you. And that is your Minsky software. Mm, okay. um, yep. Obviously, it's a step beyond me. But these same voices that I just mentioned, wouldn't it be great if somehow or another we could get them looking at Minsky software to help model these economic outcomes in, in a way that is consistent with the, the known infrastructure, the known real world, if you will, of a fiat currency, in particular, modern monetary mm. theory, which, you know, is my, my most important thing I'm going to bring up here. I want everybody to learn this stuff. But you've got the model. You took the time to build the model. So this this exchange where you've got friends that you talk to, how do we get them to work with Minsky? What would you like to tell the MMT community about Minsky and how you would like to work with them? Okay. Well, that's I've had a, a strange career where I've had my foot in physics and engineering and computer programming and a few other areas. So that's partly why I have such a broad approach to how I get things done. Uh, but yeah, Min Minsky, I built Minsky really to able, enable money to be modeled. And my starting point was uh, to begin with uh, credit money, credit money creation. But because it simply explains how money is created, it can explain MMT as well. And it's now at the stage where it's usable enough, sophisticated enough, uh, for an ordinary user to have a, a go at mod modifying it. So that's this. This is a Minsky model of what I call a monetary reset. But that's a bit complicated. So I'll start with a blank one. But I want to show people if you want to make the case about the government being able to create money and not needing to borrow, Minsky is the only software package that enables you to do it. So you create what's called we call a, a, a godly table in honor of Win Godly, and uh, I'll just make this uh, editor mode so you see the double entry bookkeeping on the screen. And I'll just call this the banks or bank. Let's call it banks, the banking sector. And then you show, well, what actually it, we, we, we're able to edit in the window, by the way, but it's a bit clunky compared to how we can bring up a little pop up window. So I'll do that, make the window a bit la larger, pardon me. And I want to say, well, uh, our bank have reserves, they have loans. And then there are deposits, and you can treat the equity of the banks as just call it banks, okay? And then say, uh, I, I, if I was doing a default model, I'd include initial conditions there, the historical situation. But uh, if you have a government running a deficit, actually, let's say, say a bank lending, what happens is banks increase their loans by a flow called lend, lend per year, and that goes into deposits. That's bank money creation. That's all you need to know to understand that banks banks create money. But if you have government deficit, then what the government does is it puts a deficit, which means it's putting money in your account here, and that's balanced by going into reserves. So the deficit creates reserves. Now reserves don't earn any any money for the uh, banking sector, so they get they're getting deposits, which in the old days they used to pay interest on. The asset they get doesn't earn any money. For them, so we'll help you out there. We're going to create bonds, uh, and so we're going to sell bonds to, to match the, uh, um, uh, the what was given you in terms of reserves. Oh, that's great! Okay, we can just take money. We can use the money you've created in the deficit above, uh, and we, that reduces our debt, our reserves by bond amount of money per year, and adds bonds. And then you, you nice treasury, you're going to pay interest on those bonds. So that's going to be money we get over here. So that's interest on bonds. Um, and that to balance that, you increase our reserves. Okay. Now that is MMT in a nutshell. That's all it takes to show that that's and when you can say, well, why do they sell? Why does the government do it? Well, one re good reason is that the banking sector is effectively giving you the finances for the for the country. And so the interest you're paying to the to the banks effectively is recompense for running the the the, uh, the monetary transaction system we need in the private sector. So that's a completely different vision of the role of government bonds and debt and so on. And then I can go back and I can add just I'll just quickly do this. I don't want to spend the whole time as a tutorial on Minsky, <laughs> but I can call this one the cent central bank, or I'll call it the Fed. And what you can, you can show you there. You can call it the Australian Central Bank or whatever. Oh, I'll call it, it. Fair. Just, 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 I can't make it too too strange for Americans. 
Okay, so reserves are there <laughs> now. Help you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll change it to the RBA in that case. Well, then what 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 actually happens at the Treasury level is the Treasury has an account at the central bank as well. It pays for the deficit, and I've got the metamorphs. I haven't got lower case. I had lower case there rather than upper case. So the deficit comes out of the Treasury account. So do the interest payments. And that's why the, the government would issue bonds to cover the interest payments as well. And the bond comes back, and the, the flow of bonds, so long as the bond flow is equal to deficit plus the interest, the Treasury maintains a, a non negative account at the central bank, meaning it doesn't have an um, overdraft. So that's, that's, in a nutshell, that's MMT. And I, you can go well beyond that, of course. You can do a model, and that's what I've done with. Uh, this this one over here where I'm modeling what happens if you uh, have a, a, what I call a monetary reset, where you use the government's money creation capability to cancel private debt. Uh, that's the sort of thing I want to see uh, people building in Minsky. But it's it's time that the MMT mob realize this is a free tool. Pick it up, run with it, teach people this way. Uh, and once you show the accounting, you know, people will foam at the mouth, but it's okay. Well, okay, foaming at the mouth, I must have made a mistake. Where's the mistake? Show me. Uh, well, uh, uh. So, and, and I describe it as being a bit like this. Minsky, is with double entry bookkeeping, is like a telescope with astronomers in the 1500s. You might believe that the Earth is the center of the universe. Heavens are perfect. We're flawed. Look through this telescope and see the craters on the moon. Okay. How did that happen? Well, heavenly bodies must have collided with each other. <laughs> therefore, the heavens can't be perfect. And therefore, that was a huge part of the, the, the take, take the wool off the eyes in the 1500s. Double entry bookkeeping does it now, and Minsky is the tool to do that dynamically.